Hi, I'm Chelsea Mosley, and this is both a tutorial and review on the Hobby King Eco 6 Balance Charger. So, as I powered it up, we've got LiPo Charge. I go back and I can select through LiPo battery, nickel metal hydride battery, nickel cadmium battery, PB battery, which is lead acid. I can save data, I can load data, and I can program. Alright, so I say lift the polymer battery by pressing the start button here. Like so. I now have several options to choose from. I can select these or cycle through them by using the positive and negative buttons here. So if I go from LiPo charge, balance, fast charge, storage, discharge, and back to charge again. If I press start once, which is the far right button, the amps start to flash. I can now use the plus and minus buttons to cycle through this. I can increase it up to 5 amps and down to um, 0.1 amp in 0.1 amp increments. So I go 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, back down again. If I press start button again, the voltage and cell start flashing. I can now use the positive and negative buttons to increase that one cell at a time, or to decrease it one cell at a time. I can get it from one cell to f six cells, as this is the Eco 6 balance charger. The max charge rate is 5 amps, and the max discharge rate is 1 amp. Over here, we've got the balance leads, which go to a balance board, and the main charge leads, which plug in into their colour-coded sockets. This charge lead then splits up into a variety of connectors. We've got the standard servo connector. We've got this little red one here, which is JST something, I think. We've got the XT60 connectors, probably the most popular. And then we've got alligator clips for doing lead acid and PB batteries. And a Tamiya for all those popular Tamiya batteries out there. All right. And on the ins input end, we've got this here connector which I've actually split so I can go to a battery such as this one which is a 3 cell 2.2 amp hour battery and I can also connect it up to a car battery as was originally intended by plugging this into this socket here alright let me know what you think of it and uh, I'd say it's a pretty good unit I haven't had any problems with it so far and it seems to work well reliably and fast although the back does heat up which is a metal plate does heat up considerably when discharging. Thank you. Please subscribe and let me know if you like it.